85 or 90 pitches when you give up that, that solo homer, but you seem like you still had really good stuff at that point. Can you just take us through that at bat? Oh, I mean, I had a little bit of adrenaline going because I knew that we had Logan, Seth, and uh, Chris Williams up in that uh, that next half inning. So I was just trying to get us off the field, and I executed a pitch, and it's baseball. Got hit, so. Coach, you said he was a little surprised the guy turned on because he said it felt high. Were you a little surprised too? Yeah, no, I mean, I think I executed it well, but at the end of the day, he's up there trying to hack to do what he did. Um, the only thing I could say is that they, you know, they're a solid offense, and they uh, definitely probably saw just through the third time through, they were like, they picked up my tendencies. So I think that played into, you know, him making that hit, so. That's the longest you've pitched in almost two years. How does, how does your arm feel? Fine. Yeah, I could have gone two more if we needed me. So I was pitching until the game was over, and I'm hopefully we'll recover nice and easy, so. Coach said the other day that he, he felt like you were in the best spot that you've been in your entire Clemson career. Do you feel that way as well? A hundred percent. I've been taking care of my body off the field, been getting plenty of sleep, working out with Rick and uh, eating right. So just continuing that process and hopefully that will lead to more success later on. Kyle, the, is it a little frustrating with the opportunities you guys had late not being able to get that, that win and run across? Yeah, I mean, it's always frustrating because obviously we want to win every single game. and. But that's baseball. You know, sometimes you're not going to get hits. You're going to hit hard balls right at people. And that's just, like I said, that's just baseball. So you go out, come back tomorrow, and try to do the same thing, just win the ball game. Did you think that one hit was, uh, was going to get out of there? <laughs> I was praying it did. But, <laughs> I mean, I just put a good swing on it. I mean, when I hit it, I was thinking, oh, man, like, it might be a gone. But then you look at the outfield, and they're about to catch it, and then, it happens, though, so it happens. Not to make excuses, but you guys just had six hits tonight. You, you're, you're so hot with the eight-game winning streak. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like the long layoff might have affected your bats at all? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I think just tonight we were, we've were we been aggressive lately, and that's what's been our key to success. So I think we, just, we were a little too aggressive tonight, just not getting our pitch up. And I think we just got to work on that tomorrow. Oh, so important. I mean, obviously, this was Mike Martin's go-ahead win over Augury Garrido, which is very impressive. And uh, I think I don't think it's going to stop us from competing the same way we competed tonight, tomorrow, and the rest of the series, and the rest of the season. So.